Well, it turns out not all of Lois Lerner's emails were lost when her computer crashed. Lerner is the former IRS official at the center of investigations over whether the agency targeted conservative groups for special scrutiny. Emails she sent on her BlackBerry surfaced today. Chip Reed now on what's in them. Congressional Republicans have long argued that former IRS official Lois Lerner was hostile to conservatives. Now they believe they have a smoking gun. In 2012, Lerner, who was in England at the time, received an email from a friend that said, you should hear the wacko wing of the GOP. The U.S. is through. The right-wing radio shows are scary to listen to. Lerner responded, great, maybe we are through if there are that many expletives. Her friend continued, and I'm talking about the hosts of the show. The callers are rabid, to which Lerner responded, so we don't need to worry about alien terrorists. It's our own crazies that will take us down. Republican Dave Camp, chairman of the House Ways and Means Committee, has been a leader in the IRS investigation. What do these emails tell you about Lois Lerner? Well, I think these emails show clearly a political bias, a political bias against conservatives and conservative organizations that resulted in the violation of their constitutional rights to due process and equal protection. In a letter to Attorney General Eric Holder today, Congressman Camp wrote, it is my sincere hope that in light of this new strong evidence that you immediately begin aggressively investigating this matter or appoint a special counsel. The Justice Department says it is reviewing the letter. Lerner's lawyer did not respond to our requests for comment about her emails. Lerner has invoked her Fifth Amendment right not to testify each time she's been called before Congress. And Jane's Democrats say there is nothing new here. They say despite these emails, there is still no real evidence that the IRS was motivated by political bias. Thank you, Chip.